Well, Prime Minister may be summiteering away from Downing Street, but something else is missing as well, the letter O from the famous street sign. In fact, the letters A, O and B have disappeared from street, shop and hospital signs across the country as part of a campaign to encourage people to give blood. Well, with us now is John Latham, Assistant Director for Donor Services at NHS Blood and Transplant. Um, so explain to us the idea behind this, because this has really captured people's imagination. In fact, it was trending on Twitter over the weekend. Oh, good evening, Sarah. Good evening, Adam. Yes, it's, it's a very simple idea. I mean, the idea behind this, we needed to create new donors, we want more donors to come forward. We went out on Friday with a big campaign explaining we've seen a 40% drop-off since 2005. Loads of factors behind that. And what we wanted to do was a very simple way of getting people's imagination around how can they help, how can they come forward. And even if you can't donate, what else could you do to help us? So we've been taking the O's, the A's, the B's out of people's uh, addresses, out of people's names. Celebrities have come on board, um, big companies have come on board, as you say, even down street, down the street have come on board. And by taking those letters out and saying, these are the types of blood groups that are missing, please come forward and donate blood. We get our message out to a lot of people very quickly. Just in terms of donors, do you find that numbers are dropping at the moment? Is there a steady rise? Where are you on, on blood well, donations in the UK? In terms of new donors, it, it's, it's a worldwide phenomenon actually. The, the, there has been a drop off in the last 10 years. And for us in the England and North Wales, it's 40%. In other parts of the country, uh, world, it can be even more. And you know, we've done some research. We've worked with some international blood services to try and find out what the reasons behind that are. And so four main factors have come out. Firstly, people have less time. It's just you're working much harder than you were 10 years ago. And obviously, you think something like blood donation, you do in your spare time. If you have less spare time, you're not going to be able to donate. Tattoos. Seems a very simple thing, but every time David Beckham comes out and has a new tattoo and it goes worldwide, mm. that impacts us because we have to defer you if you've had a tattoo for four months. And um, from personal experience, I find it quite hard to give blood. I've got a rare blood type and I'm always getting letters through the post saying, we're in your area, yeah. book a slot to come and give blood. But every time I do, it seems that there's a clamour for people to give blood and I can't get an appointment and I can't jump to the front of the queue because I've got a rare blood group and I'm always getting these letters. So uh, it, is there not some kind of system where, not just me, but people who are constantly asked to give blood because they sure. have a rare blood group? to get priority? It, it can be very frustrating. I mean, we have just introduced an, an online booking system that gives mm. you access to all of the appointments around the country. So you, if you're moving around, you can obviously book in, in, in other parts of the country if you wanted to. If you call us call centre, then they, they do have some appointments which they, they have in the back pocket, particularly for the, the groups that we really need more of. So the O negative mm. groups, the rarer blood groups that you're talking about, mm. and even from new donors. Now, we don't have huge numbers of those because we want to give everybody access to, to come in and to donate. But we do know there are some blood groups which are particularly important to us. And how severe is the shortage now? Well, there isn't a shortage. We're actually planning for the future. I mean, this is a new donors actually take probably a year and a half before they become active donors. We mm. have to bring them in. They have to try us out, see whether they're comfortable giving blood, come the second and third time. And once they're comfortable with that, then they're more likely to become the loyal donor who will come in regularly, put it, always put it into their calendar. And what we're trying to do is prepare for a year and a half, two years down the line. So we want to make sure we've got you know, the new generation of blood donors coming forward now so they'll be able to replace some of the older donors. As but we it's, not, it's not a question that, that now, you know, if people have a severe accident and they need blood, they won't be able to get it if they go to a hospital. Absolutely not. The stocks at the moment are very, very good. If you have a severe accident, what tends to happen is you, yeah. we may have O-negative blood put in, in you, depending yeah. on where you are, and that stabilises you before they put yeah. the right blood type in. And that's, that's one of the areas where we always do have a slight challenge is around O-negative blood. I mean, that's obviously the important thing, but, I mean, how did you set about persuading, you know, Downing Street and... Westminster Council that you wanted to vandalise their signs? <laughs> I think it's more about the simplicity of the message. It's not a big ask. Um, you know, celebrities have been doing it. As you downstreet, some big organisations. Uh, I mean, Waterstones losing their A. I mean, they, you know, you I normally think it's people on stag nights who steal the initial <laughs> thoughts. Well, they, they lose their O and their A. But no, I mean, big organisations understand and appreciate the need for, for creating awareness campaigns. You sometimes can't ask for money, which is, we, in our public service, we don't ask for money. We just ask for a little bit of uh, exposure to their brand and that allows us to get our message out very clearly. And, you know, it's, it's more and more organisations are coming on now. So we're in National Blood Week. We started this uh, really on Friday with the message about the 40% and then started the work with the organisations really today. And you'll be amazed the amount of organisations now they've seen the, the success of the campaign who are coming on who you know, previously we haven't been able to get to who are saying, please, we'll take our letters out, we'll go on social media, we'll, we'll help you in the campaign. It's some, such an easy well, What's your favourite one? What's one you're proudest of? 
proud as proud as what, working with someone. I, th I think it is the taking the letter off. Yeah, yeah, I think it is the Downing Street, to be honest. And we also took, I know it's not the zero, it's the zero of ten Downing Streets. It became one Downing Street just, just for the photo <laughs> opportunity. So I think those are really, you know, those are the sort of the big ones. But any organisation will help us. We'd be very grateful. And we'll just reassure viewers, it's not vandalism. You are going to give these letters back. Uh, I'll, I'll, should we say that, uh, the secret's safe for me? I'm not okay. going to tell you. <laughs>